Deuteronomy chapter 10, we see this overall theme of obedience. First, we see Moses being obedient by getting the new set of stone tablets for the Ten Commandments. And then we see the tribe of Levi obediently protecting the Ten Commandments as they're carried in the Ark of the Covenant. And then the Lord addresses the people of Israel in chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. He says, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? He requires only that you fear the Lord your God and live in a way that pleases Him and love Him and serve Him with all your heart and soul. And you must always obey the Lord's commands and decrees that I'm giving you today for your own good. Before Moses went back up to get the second set of commandments after he smashed the first ones, God gave him instruction. He let him know what was expected of him. Before we can be obedient, we must first know what's expected of us. And that's what we see here in verses 12 and 13. The Lord is addressing the Israelites, but this is really an expectation for all Christians. And the very things that we need to apply in our own lives each day. He asks us to do these five things. Fear Him, walk in obedience, love Him, serve Him with all of our hearts and souls, and lastly, observe His commands. We shouldn't look at these things as a teenager looks at their chore list or their homework. These aren't things that we have to do out of obligation or to earn His favor. We need to understand that God only desires to have a closer relationship with us and to see us grow in our walk with Him. But that doesn't happen without effort on our part. When we are obedient to His Word, and that obedience flows from a heart of gratitude and love for God, then it becomes a joy for us to serve Him and to serve others.